Have you ever plugged in a new mouse or loaded up a new game, got into a match, and felt like your character's movement had no real relation to how far you were actually moving your mouse? Well, then it might be time to look for a new hobby, as I don't think that gaming is for you. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. It's possible that you were experiencing something called mouse acceleration. Mouse or cursor acceleration, to put it simply, makes the travel distance of your cursor on the screen reliant on the velocity of your physical mouse movement rather than just the distance that you move your mouse. So making one movement of the same distance at Two different speeds will cause two different relative cursor movements, with quick movements causing the cursor to travel a greater distance. Mouse acceleration can be introduced by a variety of sources, including your operating system, mouse driver, in-game setting, or even an inherent property of the sensor being used on your mouse hardware. All right, so I get to move my cursor all the way to the top corner to close a window using like a tiny quick micro movement? That sounds pretty sweet. And for some people it is. If you have very limited space to move your mouse but don't want to constantly run a ridiculously high sensitivity, or if you don't mind sacrificing some precision in your mouse movements for a bit of conveniently quick movement when you really need it, then mouse acceleration might not be a bad thing. But like anything that has a potential advantage, there are some downsides that you have to take into it account. First, acceleration makes it more challenging to replicate specific movements. It is more difficult to gauge the speed of your movement than it is to gauge the distance you move on a surface. So playing games with acceleration may cause a much steeper learning curve if you're trying to become great at a game where mouse accuracy is important, like a first-person shooter. Second, to use mouse acceleration properly, you are going to have to tweak and adjust your settings endlessly until you find the exact configuration that works for you. It is doable, but it's not going to be easy. And third, acceleration is something that is, in most cases, caused by software, and software is not perfect. Even someone who may consider themselves an expert at using a mouse with acceleration will encounter some weird interactions and mouse movements in the long term. Drivers and other software has improved and will continue to improve as we move forward, but for now, keeping this off is considered generally wise within the gaming community. Now, like most things we discuss on this channel, it really does come down to personal preference, and in many cases, it's something that you can tune to meet your needs. Like elderly people, for example, might want acceleration so that when they're trying to, to reach you know, that button that's kind of hard to align with, they can move slower and the mouse movements are much slower. But if you are not that person and your goal is to, say, become very good at a game or a genre of games that requires very fine mouse control and precision, then learning to play without acceleration might reward you more for your troubles in the long term. Just be prepared to do a bit of learning in order to find the right combination of hardware and software settings to get there. There's a link in the description to a guide on Team Liquid if you want to really dig into the technical aspects of mouse acceleration and mouse technology. Just prepare your brain for a little bit of learning that's about to go on. Speaking of learning that's about to go on, Fractal Design uh, didn't tell us what we're doing today, so... Here we are with another Fractal Design integration on this channel. Why do these always end up being punishment for me? So instead of talking about, uh, you know, the minimalistic Scandinavian design of Fractal Design's cases, power supplies, coolers, fans, fans are also coolers, but I think you get my point. Uh, Josh over from Fractal figured I needed a little bit more Scandinavian clean design myself and asked for me to uh, wax my mono brow that you guys are actually pretty fond of complaining about on this particular channel more than the other one, I guess because the camera's usually a little closer. He also had a special request that Luke uh, was to be the one who stepped in here and did the honors. So, um, fractal design, basically bad people. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, wow. So how'd we do there? Not much actually came off. You still definitely have all the hair there. Well, that is very unfortunate. So it got to hurt and we have to do it again. So thanks to you, Josh, for being a swell guy. And guys, check out Fractal Design. They're linked in the video description. They sponsor the show. They're mostly good people except for Josh. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And we will see you again next time. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, it's sticky.